Oh yeah, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, in honor of this video, if you guys go on my Instagram, there will be a post dedicated to this whole shield shoot, so please check it out. Link in the description. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a cloudy morning here. Yes, sir. I completely forgot that I have my lights set up now from last night. Baby Aldris! We are currently heading to work. Just one of those mornings where it's like, ugh, a bit of a drag. Yeah, I'm saying. I want to start the video off a little bit abruptly and not with a montage. Something a little different for y'all. Listen up here, all right? I think I want to try to get like a haircut out. No, actually, I've been thinking about like getting this haircut, right? And it's something serious, just like a normal haircut that I used to get. But now it's a little bit different because I got to ask T. I'm gonna show her one of my photos from uh, from the shoot and stuff. I'll show her like a screenshot of the shoot and I'll ask her to see if I could like somehow keep that hair. It's gonna be hard because it's like the hair that I have right now is like at the end cycle of my perm. I, I don't know if she can somehow keep it that way. I'm sure she could find a way to keep like the curls just right here, but who knows. I'll try my best. I'll try my best is all I'm saying. I want to know when you're not around. And I'm feeling down And she smiled at me and said I don't wanna see you cry And to be honest I don't even know why I let myself get down in the first place Hey, how's your day going? Not good anymore, Jesus. Your friends are mine, you know. I know you've moved on. Well, I hope you're happy, but not like how you were with me. I'm selfish, I know. Alright, boys, ladies, and gentlemen. I mean, guess what I'm watching? There we go. Alright. Ironically enough, that's actually going to be the topic of the video. Uh, we're going to be talking about the final thoughts of uh, this whole shoot stuff that I had with Shields. And uh, just kind of give you guys a rundown, a few more details that you guys haven't, like, that I haven't told you guys. It's going to be a chill day, podcast-like, before I forget. Happy Memorial Day, of course. Hope you guys had a good Memorial Day, good Memorial weekend. A nice long weekend for everyone. But yeah, this is going to be the last time I kind of talk about the, the shoot in detail. And just kind of release all, like, the stuff in my head. So I mentioned to you guys how it started off really awkwardly. What I mean by that is like I, I walked into the building. Funny enough, Sophia was actually like walking in with me. So she she pretty much just guided me through everything. So got to the place, got into the little conference room. I see all of our bags labeled, you know, and stuff. And I was like, all right, let me grab one. Just kind of started the day off. Like, I think it was like the first hour or something like that. I, you know, we didn't really do anything the first hour. The call time was supposed to be 7.45. Didn't do anything until like... God, like 9, 9.30, something like that. Which, I'm not complaining. First hour, it was really quiet. Some people walked in. Actually, when people started walking and I was getting my makeup done, I was way ahead of the game, you feel me? I think their call times were like a little later than mine. When I say awkwardly, I literally mean there was nothing. No one talked, it seemed like, you know one of those situations where it's like you just had a fight with your like significant other and then like you guys see each other in the living room or something and you just like kind of ignore each other? That's literally what it was like. It was just ignore city. Jesse had a friend with him at that time, so you know, there was a bit of noise. But yeah, for a while there was nothing and I was just on YouTube and stuff. A little bit later, Deja and Asia started talking. And I was like, oh cool, you know, they, they must know each other. Nope. Yeah, just started talking and then after that I think I told you guys about this Jesse introduced himself and then after that it was it's weird because in the span of like 15 minutes it started off as like us not knowing each other to 15 minutes later it seemed like we knew each other for years yes there was some introduction but like it like the it, we just clicked but yeah as the day went by we we're just kind of experiencing it together because I don't think the other guys have been to uh, the shields shoot as well I think they've done other shoots and commercials but I don't think they've done shields in my city so one of the cool things that i uh that i figured out on the first day apparently i'm a natural there was three specific shots and we were using the 360 like spinning camera or whatever we were using like a low angle and then a really high angle and then an eye level angle all of them were really fun when we were doing the eye level the other guys were getting like instructions to do stuff like do this do that do that do that and i was expecting the same thing because i was like i don't know what i'm doing i genuinely don't know what i'm doing i'm just kind of here to exist <laughs> yeah i was expecting an instruction because there was three of us he was giving instructions to like the other guys by the way this is no shade this is just how it transpired but the other guys were getting instructions the creative director was like all right you do this all right sounds good paulo 
just do what you're doing, man. Looking suave. I was like, me? Me looking suave? Maybe I'm looking too deep into this, but apparently when the director says just keep doing you, apparently you're doing a really good job. Thanks. I'll take it, man. I'll take I'll take what I can get. So that lifted my spirits up. And as the creative director directed, I just kept doing what I was doing, which is like I'm just copying the other guy. I was just copying what the other guys were doing, man. Let's do a little bit of singing, and um, we'll get back into talking about it later. Even your emotions in an echo in so much space. Hey. Does that make me crazy? I've been feeling this song a lot recently. Very recently. Oh. Uh. You don't love him. You don't love him. You don't love him if you're thinking of me. You don't love him. You're just fucking. You're just fucking. It means nothing to me. It's been too long. You change up all the time. But ain't it right if you fuck a out of spite? Just repeat after me. You don't love him if you're thinking of me. Feeling this one too, recently. So now he's your head You're lying to yourself and him to make me jealous You put on such an act when you're sleeping together All this cause I said I don't want marriage I don't want marriage And at least we'll share something that's real Puede que no te haga falta nada Alright, ladies and gentlemen, time to go to work. Final day of the shoot. Started off normal, but this time we added four more people in the cast. We had Matthew, Cecilia, Aletta, and Olivia. Fun fact, I think I mentioned that I wasn't the only one that had their first shoot or whatever. Matthew also had their first shoot. Like, hey, I'm not the only one. So we got to the studio, kind of hung around. And in this time, unlike the first day, it took us longer to to start shooting. One, because uh, there was more people, so there was more people to go through when it comes to makeup and stuff. And two, I don't really know. <laughs> Over there, there was actually a, like a stand. I don't know, like a, it's not a board because it's like a, like a wire, wire gate, I don't know. There was a lot of our photos that they used like during the, the fitting stuff. They hung all that kind of stuff up and I, I, I guess from the looks of it, it looks like they're gonna use it for something because you know, it was labeled and everything. There would be no reason for them to label like the brands and you know, make it all, make it look all nice and everything if, if they weren't gonna use it. A lot of my photos that I noticed were on the board, which is nice. I thought it was kind of cool. I remember this one time where I was like, I was looking from a distance. I was just looking at the board because I got bored. Bars. I looked at one of the photos and I'm like, damn, this guy's arms are actually pretty sick. I'd like to have those arms. They weren't like insanely huge. They were just like, they look nice. I look closer and I'm like, oh, that's me. <laughs> that was kind of funny. And going back to what I said about the first day, I didn't really get that much instruction. The only really instructions that I got was uh, stop like, you know, like singing along to the song. I didn't know about this until, you know, until that day, but you're not supposed to be like saying words if they're like recording you and stuff, which makes sense. It kind of sucked a little bit. I don't know what it means. I don't know if it's like a compliment or like, you know, am I doing a good job or whatever, but whether I'm doing a good job or not, it's like, you know, give me a little bit of instructions because it's like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I, wanna learn how to dance, I'll teach I think it goes without saying that the second day was a lot better than the first day. Not only is it because like there's more people, but I feel like the music played a, like a big part in it or like the openness. I don't know. I don't know what it was. It was just a better vibe. Like I said, the music definitely played a whole part in it because it was an open space it was loud music it was kind of like a party you know what i mean and that goes along with me saying like it didn't feel like a job it felt like a vacation of course there's more people to talk to but i just felt different it was a lot more fun how, how dare i forget that we had one of the most goaded lunches ever we all kind of collectively agreed on uh, Kidoba. Speaking of Kidoba, I don't know if it was actually the Kidoba itself or I don't know what it was or, You know, we just all didn't have like sleep or anything But I think from 4 30 to like 6 or something like that. We were just Tired, bro. We were I don't know. I was not in the mood to like record anything else I think at that point we were back to like Tuesday morning where we just didn't talk to each other <laughs> We were just all so tired from like the whole like morning and lunch i don't even know by the way when i start popping up more details in my head about the shoot and stuff i'll let you guys know but now we're gonna head to work i'm just gonna a little bit sang please if you haven't already please check out jesse's music like there's only a few 
it won't take long. Hey. Ah. I'm gonna play this song for a second and then I'll talk about it, alright? Baby Al Jazeel! I'm thinking of the sticker. I'm thinking of the ninja. You know, I like you don't know me. No mystery. Got the best BBL in history. This guy gonna make you show up. I know you've seen this glow up. BBL Jazeel! BBL Jazeel! BBL Jazeel! This guy gonna make you show up. I know you've seen this glow up. I'm gonna try to remember the best that I can, but I, I don't entirely sure how this whole like BBL Jersey thing came along. But it turned out to be such an integral part of this whole like shoot and stuff because that's literally all. <laughs> That's all we played, and you guys can see in the vlogs, that's all I play. Just concept BBL Jersey. I mean, on a YouTuber side, luckily, I don't get copyrighted for it because it's an AI song, so, you know, I, I don't I don't, I don't, don't get copyrighted for it. But this all happened on the first day where I believe we started talking about music. I think it was me and Pierce just starting to talk about, like, albums and stuff like that, and I think we started talking about Kendrick first. It suddenly got to uh, Drake. I think I said something about it where I was like, Drake got destroyed or something something like that and then uh fun fact deja is a huge fan of uh of bbl jersey so uh and i'm talking about drake not you know deja started talking about drake and how she's a big fan of him and you know we all dunked on her about it i know there's some drake slappers but don't get me wrong but after everything that's happened uh i don't know if i could still be a fan of the man himself you know what i mean yeah it started off as just like a like a conversation about music and then uh, i think we started talking about CLB, I think. I think I mentioned how trash it was. And then it just became this back and forth between us versus Deja. Every time the creative director would be like, uh, what music do you guys want to play? We would go, uh, let's do Not Like Us. And then, of course, they would say no because, you know, there's a lot of swear words in it and it's not PG. And I had the bright idea of coming up with uh, let's play Meet the Graham. <laughs> After like an hour of talking about music like that, BBL Jersey became our theme song for the shoot and it, it just became like this uh, this running gag that we kind of go back and forth on. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen my Instagram stories, but I played a lot of BBL Jersey, both the original, quote unquote original, and the Metro Boomin version. And just for you, Deja, I, I told her about this. I was like, yeah, for one of the stories, I decided to play Not Like Us, just for Deja, specifically for Deja. I think at that point we started talking about BBL Jersey, that's when our like friendship quote-unquote started to become really strong it was just dunking on each other and stuff bbl jersey became our our thing and then uh we ended on that it was kind of sad if you guys have seen the that's a rap video i ended the little montage with us singing uh bbl jersey because you know baby baby all right ladies and gentlemen we have a special guest in our car <laughs> Squish, how's it going? <laughs> right now, we're gonna be heading to Puhat. Uh, I just gotta drop this guy off at his place. Let's head up on out of here. Squish, you gotta sit down. Why are you at the back? Squish, you better not rampage through everything. I mean, I have a bag in the back, but like, that's about it. Y yeah, you're gonna jump. Yep, there we go. Hello. Welcome back, sir. Oh, hi. <laughs> he seems to be enjoying the ride. He's very curious. Squish, hey, leave the George Foreman alone. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Is this here harassment mode? Yeah. Squish, get out of the foreman. Oh, speaking of which, by the way, guys, for the people that have been here for a while, you guys would know about Taz. Uh, Taz actually did get adopted. He is going all the way to South Dakota now. Yeah, we got a couple of photos from him, and he seems like he's having a lot of fun. So, W in the chat for Taz. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what the? F Why is the camera quality so nice? Man, they are. For this next part, we're only gonna talk about it for uh, like a minute or so. Let me start off by showing you guys a clip of Pierce saying it, so don't blame me. Uh, hot friends. <laughs> hey, Pierce said it, man. I, I thought about it too. I was like, of course my model friends are all just gonna be like, good looking of course because we're, we're literally paid to look good <laughs> guess that's kind of a flex on my behalf it's like damn. hey my friends are all like 10 out of 10s you feel me shout out to everyone man but you know what that means i'm also a part of that am i a 10 out of 10 i don't know who knows that makes you to leave a like and subscribe so yeah shout out to all the friends out there that is you know 10 out of 10 boys y'all are y'all are 10 out of 10 i'm here at serena's driveway right now just kind of uh digesting the food that uh, we had. I guess on the friends topic, I wanted to quickly talk about how like, with all of them having such vibrant personalities, it makes for such good content. For all the three videos, that they've all been bangers because of them. They just have a really good vibe. So, you know, another shout out to all of you guys. Look into 
demise And when you find me there You search no more Don't tell me it's not worth trying for You can tell me it's not worth dying for Everything I do I do it for you Josie's on a vacation far away So many things that I wanna say I just wanna use your love tonight Oh man, this song, take me to church I hate this song, no particular reason or anything Take me to church, I worship like a dog At the shrine of your lies I'll tell you my sins So you can sharpen your knife Offer me that deathless death You already know what I'm gonna sing. Hey. Tonight the music seems so loud. I wish that we could lose this crowd. Maybe it's better this way. We hurt each other with the things we want. Baby Aldris, baby Aldris. My voice is a short. All right, before we uh, talk about the last bits of this whole video, um, got some dental strips right here. Heel strip. Place. I'm gonna work on uh, having better teeth because uh, your boy, you know, as much as like my teeth, like it's straight, I just don't have the, the most whitest teeth. Let's say that. All right, here we go. Leave this on for about 30 minutes. Okay. Wait, okay, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, in honor of this video, if you guys go on my Instagram, there will be a post dedicated to this whole shield shoot. So please check it out. Link in the description. So yeah, I'm gonna gather up some pictures tonight after I edit and just see what happens. <laughs> I mentioned to you guys how the beginning of this year really wasn't like the best. You guys could see it in the videos. Obviously, I've been filming ever since like the beginning of January and you guys have seen me through ups and downs and everything. Of course, I've had my fun and stuff. Like I've had a lot of fun like doing other stuff, but this right here, this week has been my best week in a very long time. And honestly, it's great because last month I had my worst week. Like just run down the whole list. I got to model for shields. Let me put this into perspective for you guys. If I'm correct, this is going to be in all of the shields locations. If not, I could be wrong but 33 locations of shields that's insane remember like three four months ago or something like that two th some sometime remember how i was so like annoyed with the other agency because they pretty much just snubbed me and everything i never thought i would be into this agency and guess what I am. That's freaking crazy to me. And what I learned is that just because you're a model doesn't mean you get bookings just like that, like left, right, and center. And don't get me wrong, I don't have bookings left, right, and center. But what I'm also saying is that not everyone's first, like, booking is something as big as this. This is huge for me. The staff over at Shields, they were amazing people. When I went into the fitting, they were literally just, have fun. That's all you gotta do. Go over there, have fun, just enjoy it. They made me feel so welcome. You know what I mean? They made me feel very important. So shout out to the, the people at Shields. And of course, I can't forget the, the crew. The crew was the best crew I could have ever had my first experience with. I've said that before. With all that combined into one, it just makes for the best week I've had this year. Before we get into the last point, I want to um, just talk about the people. Talk about some fun moments with them. Obviously, you guys have seen the videos, so you guys have seen the fun moments. But I just want to shout out individually every single one. Matthew was great, man. He was one of those guys that just doesn't talk much. But I'm assuming, like, he's just taking in all the information like I was doing. Reserved guy, but incredible guy. Very nice. I have nothing bad to say, you know? These next three people, it just sucks that I didn't have much experience with these guys. Because I only had, like, a day with them. So let's talk about Aletta and Cecilia. They were just kind, man. Just accepting people very inclusive they made me feel involved into this whole shoot and they made me feel comfortable olivia let me get into olivia real quick olivia's great one of the funniest girls i've ever met hilarious lady if it all happens i'm excited for me her and deja to you know get in a car together and just drive to minneapolis i'm very excited because olivia's hilarious man a plus person ava my god bro she's 18 and she's got all this stuff going on i i'm not i think i mentioned to you guys how she's got like i think she's got like two million like followers out of like all of her social medias and she's also a screenwriter like bro on the second day of the shoot we were just having some dead time a little bit we were all talking and everything and ava was just in the corner just typing away i'm like me and pierce are like what are you doing ava and she's like i'm writing a screenplay i'm like Damn, have a little bit of fun. He's one of the hardest working people I know, bro. Shout out Ava, man. And also shout out to her for getting into that uh, Hollister shoot. Like, that's crazy. I want to try to ask her some information to see if I can get into one too, but who knows. Asia's just been a W, man. She's like a... 
very bubbly personality and of course just like the other girls they made me feel involved you know what i mean and of course asia i really appreciate you liking the vlog i hope i made you feel entertained um well i it's, it seems like i made you feel entertained guessing by the comments that you made shout out shout out to you man thank you so much she was telling us these crazy stories about college and it's like i didn't know college in st cloud would be that crazy you know what i mean Shout out St. Cloud, by the way. Now let's talk about Deja. She's in the same city with me, and she's in the same agency. She's with uh, Natalie Sparrow as well. After the whole shoot ended and stuff, like I was asking her a bunch of questions about the, the agency, and she was trying to get me connected with like photo shoots and stuff, and you know, she's really trying to help me out, and it's like, wow, thank you. Because she knows I'm a beginner, so the fact that she's helping me out is just like, it's unneeded, man. But yeah, I really appreciate the help and everything, and just a hilarious person. I will say, though, one of the most directionally challenged people. Work on that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now let's talk about Jesse. Great artist. We had a good conversation about music and it, it was just enlightening and it's cool that he's got his own music thing going on and I really hope the best for him because he's got a talent. He's got a talent, bro. I saw his setup. Very simple setup. He's got a laptop, a mic, and you know, very bare bones and the fact that he can make music like that ridiculous and last but not least Prince or Pierce my Filipino brother from another mother one of the most like diverse people that I've met um, dare i say unique he's a singer actor model dancer uh, man he's just everything man you know what i mean and one of the funniest people i've met too this might be a stretch but i think if it wasn't for him our group wouldn't have clicked as well i feel like we would have clicked either way but because of pierce i think it just clicked even more like he brought the energy every single time you guys have seen the videos man he's hilarious and i know when we all gather up and stuff to valley fair i know it's just gonna be the best time ever so i'm a dance up in it hey go on ask you, hey hey last but not least uh let's get a little bit deep I, I think i've been saying this week the whole time but uh last week technically i mentioned to you guys how last week was like pretty much the best time i've had this year with this whole modeling gig it's cool to have the title of being a model and of course that gives you a level of confidence but there's nothing like actually having a gig that gives you this much confidence and with the mixture of the people that i was surrounded with it helped me so much thinking that like hey you know what, I can do it. And I think out of everything, the fact that this gave me so much confidence within myself, it's irreplaceable. It's it's something that I, you know, it's something that I really cherish for the rest of my life. Like, I've not felt this confident at all in a long time, you know? It's all because of last week. Like, I feel so much better about myself. And I think it's just gonna continue to grow. I'm gonna take off this thing here. You, you, yikes. I can see a little bit of a difference, but nothing too crazy. Of course, it's my first day using this, but not too shabby. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for hearing me out and everything, because I feel like I had to say a lot of stuff, because I, I know there's a couple of things that I haven't really talked about. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the last video about it. <sighs> the GOAT crew. Until we meet again. Love you guys.